welcome back to the channel thanks for checking out this video what is it this is the January crate club crate club is like these magical boxes that show up except for the crate club is kinda like uh, the other ones on uh, on steroids they offer three different levels you can get the lieutenant you can get the captain and you can get this one, the top one, which is the general. They start at uh, $49.99. I'm losing stuff. I'm losing stuff already. You, they start at $49.99 and go all the way up to $399.99. Now you uh, you can uh, choose to uh, pay uh, as you get them, or if you uh, sign up for the uh, the the annual uh, setup, uh, they'll take uh, like for instance on the general, uh, you'll save uh, two hundred dollars in shipping costs. So I will have all the information down below so that uh, you can uh, check it out. Or if you have a question or comment for me, please leave them down in the uh, subscription box and. If you are interested in starting one of these, you can use the discount code EBOMI and they will take 15% off of your subscription prices. So, if you're thinking about doing it, do that. Uh, we get the card here, let me move this over here. It tells you a little bit about each something. First thing on the list on this particular supply drop is the Clean Freak Scent Free Body Wipes. So they uh, they come in a resealable uh, container. Body wipe, antibacterial, scent-free, 100% biodegradable, odor neutralizing, upwind approved, contains aloe, alcohol-free, and it is 11 by 11 body wipe. Just kind of smells uh smells like uh clean clean clothes or oh, a wet toilet so there you go uh was it say uh how many of these uh, were in there says how many of them are actually in here. A bunch, okay? There's a bunch. And then uh, when you're, so if you throw this in your uh, camping supplies, camper, glove compartment, bug out bag, whatever, there you go. Take this with you when you go uh, have barbecue. That is the clean freak. And, uh, I don't know where is it going? Um, yeah, um, yeah, so, there's so, so there's some of this stuff in there too, but due to contractual obligations, I cannot give you any of the special discount codes. Okay, so the next thing is the uh, first line uh, gun oil pen.
kind of like a, a deodorant container when you turn this up it uh, slowly pushes the oil up into the uh, applicator and then you can like use this to uh, say brush the uh, the slide rails or whatever uh, that you are going to add but I mean you're given that you get the ability to uh, precisely put it where you want and the amount that you want to put there synthetic there and do not write that down right there don't don't no don't do it next in oh I already skipped some stuff over sorry about that we got the uh, hemostat pads uh, four by four uh, another good I'm not gonna open this up because then I'm gonna it's not gonna be sterile anymore but put this in your uh, in your med kit I uh I always like when I thanks to uh thanks to uh clubs like uh Crate Club here I have uh, been able to build a uh a very decent med kit and uh uh you know just to you know get an idea here we got you know say this yeah so there's that uh next is the quick cord So it's a paracord, uh, paracord dispenser. You can uh, can put your uh, put your paracord uh, down inside here. So it's got a little, little plug at the bottom. Put your paracord in there. Uh, should always stock up and leave some of these in the uh, in your uh, in your various uh, bags and kits anyway. But uh, you can uh, snap that Velcro the Velcro it uh, inside of this guy, and uh, you can then uh, use this to uh, pull pull that out, and you can swing this and use it to uh, as a single or a signal flare kind of a thing there's a little picture of a dude doing it right there tangle free paracord it's got the uh the, the cutter right there in it quick cord next is the hero clip medium Um, these 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 work out pretty cool, actually. Um, you can uh, got the uh, got the clip where you can clip it onto something and then turn this into a, to a hanger. I actually uh, I actually use one of these in the uh, in the uh, the lo reloading room uh, to hold up a uh, backpack, the hero clip. Swivels 360 uh, degrees. Uh, where was that? Uh, can hold up to uh, 60 pounds. Next. Pod Extreme Jump Starter. Ok. 
Okay, so up here you got the uh, jumper cables. See a nice little uh, protector there to protect it. Well, this one, this one actually has some weight to it. Jumper, the jumper uh, connection is right there. I see a power button on the other side. Uh, USB uh, out. I have not seen this particular model before. Or have I goofed around with it? USB output. Another USB out. Uh, the C is the uh, the input for uh, uh, for charging for charging it back up. Oh, that's cool. Tells you that it's at uh, ninety eight. 98% charge. Now it's at 97% because I had to play with the flashlight. So you got It's not real bright, but it is a flashlight in the dark. Hey, guess what? It's brighter in the dark. SOS just blinking and then back off so if you uh, so not only obviously can you use it to uh, I could even get the cord out. Uh, charge your or jump start your car. Now, if anybody's ever asked about these, I have a, I have a much smaller one, and my uh, my daughter, who is a mechanic, charging 60, full in 53 minutes. Uh, my daughter, who is a mechanic, uh, looked at this other one and said, uh, I would be shocked if that actually works. Because uh, her car had died and I, I went to rescue her. And uh, it actually started her car. And that thing is ultra tiny. Something like this definitely makes me uh, uh, feel better about uh, um, the weight to it. Um, I'm guessing it has... Uh, much more uh, more capacity than the other one that I have. And my guess is on how fast it's uh, it's dropping. It probably just had like a, a, a surface charge on it. If it's like most of them, you should uh, uh, charge when you get something like this. Uh, charge it up. Okay. Well, uh, that that is very cool. Yeah, I'll go with the. Uh, make sure you, when you get something like this to uh, uh, to give it a to give it a good charge. And that is the. Pod Extreme Jump Starter. Nice case to keep everything in. Once again, 
smart thing to have in your car, especially especially this time of the year. Okay, next up is the uh, Len LED LED Lenser ML6 750 lumen lantern. Another, uh, another cable. All right. I actually know something about this guy. You have, uh, again, this one also has uh, power out, so you can use this to charge a device. It has uh, your in to charge it. It has a magnetic uh, base on it so that you can, uh, you know, under a hood of a, of a vehicle, on the side of, say, your furnace or boiler or water heater, if you're doing uh, uh, some kind of maintenance or whatever, it does come with the uh, a base, which will stabilize it for standing, and it has the hook in it so that you can uh, hang it in a tent, hang it... Uh, Maybe maybe somewhere that uh, does not supply you with uh, with metal. I have not personally tried this, but I also see that it's uh, threaded, and uh, that looks like it may be the same base as a uh, as a tripod or a camera mount. Press and hold, turns on. You uh, got uh, pretty much start or stop wherever you want for uh, lighting. It'll blink when it uh, gets to the, uh, the, uh, the, the low end of its power, and it'll blink when it gets to the high end of its power. Uh, if you were to I'll set it right here in the middle, if you double double tap that, it goes to the uh, uh, like a turbo or its its highest output. Press the button again. If you press the top, you can switch it to red. And again, there it's blinking to tell me I'm at the uh, the the brightest uh, setting in red. Otherwise, you can go all the way down. If you press this uh, and hold. Oops. Sorry. Strobe. Red blink. Oh, hang on. Strobe. Then you can go through the different settings. They call that breathe. Just blinking. Oh, no. That one's SOS. And then there's just blinking. And then bring it back to your, uh, to your light light mode it's a it's a cool it's a cool lantern because it's a uh, fairly small adequately bright again you can use it for uh, charging charging a device and it has all the uh, the various uh, mounts to it magnetic hanging uh, and someplace uh, to stabilize it, uh, give it a little extra extra feet on there. Uh, like I said, plus it comes with the cable, comes with a, a carrying case uh, to keep it protected. Your directions and all that are in there. And that is the uh, ML6 700 and, uh, uh, 750 lumen lantern. Next up is the Fox Edge FE 520. Knife, not for the faint of heart. Uh, G10 has a glass breaker. Uh, you can reverse the pocket 
clip uh, for uh, sides, but it is a uh, a tip up carry that is not changeable. Extremely, extremely smooth. Nice flipper. Definitely a, a rugged blade. Uh, very, very beefy. Got the uh, jimping all the way across top. Got some back here. Actually, actually, that's even more aggressive back there. Frame lock. I know some people are always really nervous about this. Blade centering is... Uh, spot on for those steel fanatics this is uh, VG10 drop point black Cerakote and like I said G10 stainless steel uh, locking liner Fox Edge makes some uh, uh, fairly fairly aggressive blades, I have to say, and this one is uh, is definitely one of them. Next, tops, knives, the poker uh, anybody anybody that gets themselves a tops knife you'll probably end up getting another one tops is uh, is hands down one of my favorite uh, knife manufacturers And uh, they're proud of their knives too, and they stand behind them. I actually, uh, I actually gave one of these to my to my wife. She thought it was badass and absolutely had to have it. So it comes set up so that you can uh, uh, do it as a uh, scout carry, small of your back. I, uh, I personally uh, will probably, uh, probably, being that I now know that someone else isn't going to steal it because uh, she already has one, I'll probably... I'll probably try it as a uh, as a scout carry, but more than likely, uh, it'll go into the rotation as a uh, as a neck knife. The only thing you have to be careful for, careful on this one is you have a tendency to to grip it right there. You do not want to grip it right there and yank it out of here because, like all tops knives, it is extremely sharp and uh, you will end up with a with a nasty nasty owie right there the poker so what do you think of that that is a nice uh, nice uh, g10 they look like uh, look like black with almost like a little bit of a of a greenish uh, hue uh, coming out of them. I have to look at my wife's. I don't remember hers hers having uh, quite that look. That's that's really cool. Tops knives are awesome. They're just absolutely awesome. Let's see. Uh, Blade material on this one is 1095RC 
5658. Handles black micarta. Okay. Well, that is the January Crate Club. So if you signed up for the general or you would like to give it a try and you sign up for the general, this is the the level of uh of the kind of stuff that you will be receiving. Everything is usually pretty high end. And again, two two awesome knives this month, Fox Edge and the Tops. I like I said, I just I just love just love me my Tops knives. The Tops knives are just Tops. How's that for cliche? So there you guys go. Questions, comments, please leave them down below. And uh, please do not forget if you'd like to give uh, uh, Crate Club a try, um, use. Use the code eBalmy when you are doing your subscri subscription to them. Otherwise, please, uh, please hit the like and uh, like and subscribe button to the channel. It means a lot to me, and uh, and possibly uh, if you're interested in the, in these videos, uh, share them. Otherwise, questions, comments, please leave them down below, and. Uh, Cheers, you guys.
Thank you.